my name is Tandui Vaughn, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps of uploading an articulate storyline file onto Google Cloud. And so the purpose of doing this is to upload your articulate storyline files and add them into your portfolio files or also to share the links on social media for others to enjoy your courses. And just a little quick little disclaimer, this is my artwork that my 10 year old daughter made of my husband and I. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is open up a tab. In the search bar, you wanna type where it says, and you wanna type Google Console. And then you wanna click where it says Google Cloud Console. Once you click there, it's going to send you through a few prompts of setting up your account. The steps are very simple and easy, so I won't cover those in here today. But once you have set up your account, you'll see something that looks like this. So it's going to ask you to create your create a project, and all you're going to do is simply name it. Once you have named your project, the next step is to create a bucket. So as you can see here, I already have a bucket named, and this was for a previous project. But for today's video, I'm going to create a new bucket. And so once you have clicked on create a new bucket, you're going to name your bucket. So I'm going to name my bucket race lit because my course is on race and literature. And then I'm going to click where it says continue. I'm going to leave my settings as is for multi-region because I want it to be able, I want my course to be accessible for several regions. I'm going to click where it says continue. I'm going to keep it at the default of standard. I will click continue. Once again, I'm going to click my keep my settings as is. So I'm not going to check this off because I do want my bucket accessible for the public. I'm going to keep it at uniform. Once again, click continue. And then we're all done. We're ready to create. And so now I'm going to click the create button. And so as you can see, my race lit bucket has been created. But as of right now, my bucket is not accessible to the public. So we want to change that by clicking where it says permissions. Okay, and it also lets us know that it's not public. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to add permissions. So I'm going to click where it says add, and then I'm going to type in all users. And it will automatically populate for you. And so you wanna click on that very first one that says all users. And then we're going to select a row. Once you select your row, you wanna look for Google Cloud. So I'm going to use the scroll bar. Uh, excuse me, not Google Cloud, but Google Cloud Storage. So you're going to click where it says Cloud Storage. And then you're going to click Storage Object Viewer. Once you have done that, you will click Save. And so now it's giving you a prompt asking you, are you sure you want to make this resource public? Of course. So click where it says allow public access. And so now I'm going to go back to my parent page by clicking on the arrow that says bucket details. Well, it's right next to bucket details. And so now I'm going to click on my bucket race lit. And as you can see, it's public to, I have public access. So it's public to internet. So the next step I want to do before I upload anything, I want to go to my storyline file and I want to check and make sure that my storyline file has been saved to the default folder um, in my documents under articulate storyline. So I'm just going to click save as and just see exactly where it is. And yes, it's in my articulate projects. So I'm going to click save. And then now the very next step that I'm going to do 
is go to where it says publish. So I'm going to click publish again. And so pay attention to the folder. So you'll see Team V. So I see that it's in my docu documents and my articulate project. So that's exactly where I want it to be. If you missed this step and you weren't paying attention when you were saving it, I can show you one more place to look. So you're going to click on Open. And as you can see, I see it in Documents, My Articulate Projects. So let's close out of there and let's get started adding our storyline file. So the next step is to click where it says Upload Folder. And we want to find, so I'm going to go to Documents my articulate projects and we're going to look for it and so and it's here and so now we're going to upload the entire folder and then we're going to click where it says upload And it doesn't take long, especially if it's a shorter course. I think I have about maybe six or seven slides for mine. And let's just double check and make sure everything has been uploaded and it looks like it has. And so then now the next step, I'm gonna click on this to collapse it. I'm going to click on the actual folder, Race and Lit. And I'm going to look for my story.html file. And there it is, right there. And so as I go across, I'm going to click where it says Copy Public URL. Click there, and now I'm going to open up a separate tab. And I'm going to paste that hyperlink into my URL. So let's see, Control V as in Victor, and click Enter. And voila, my course is ready. This is just a sample course that I added into a storyline file. And it is there. So wonderful, wonderful. So that is how you are able to add a storyline file to Google and upload it to your portfolio or to share on social media share the link in an email, however you want to share it. So I hope this video was helpful and have a great day.